Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be covering the nitrogen cycle and this is a part of the supplement syllabus for biology. This is a big diagram that's going to explain everything about the nitrogen cycle, essentially. So if at any point you're confused and you need to pause the video, then feel free to do it because nothing's going to change. I'm just going to base it off this diagram. And it's quite straightforward too, in my opinion. I'm going to first talk about the processes that form ammonia and ammonium ions in the soil and then I'm going to talk how those things are then turned into nitrate ions for the plants and then I'm going to go on to talk about how the nitrate ions are set back into the atmosphere as atmospheric nitrogen. So to start off with, let's talk about nitrogen fixation which is a process that turns atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia. So this can be first of all done by lightning and it essentially, like I just said, turns atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia, which then sinks into the soil. Then it can also be done by nitrogen-fixing bacteria, which live in the root nodules of legumes. And they essentially do the exact same thing as depicted on this diagram here. And then next we have feeding of plants to animals, such as cows, and then the animal will get all of the plant proteins and as a result it would have to deaminate some of it and if you recall from the digestion topic deamination essentially means you're removing the amine group from the protein and then you end up with urea and you also end up with ammonia as depicted here and that is done through the process of excretion which is when you remove it out of the animal or the specifically in this case the cow's body and then you also have another process, which is when living things die, like the animal or the plant dies. And then the protein in these dead living things are then broken down in the process of decomposition, done by decomposers, which are essentially just bacteria and fungi. And they make ammonium ions. Remember, these make ammonia, and this makes ammonium ions. So now that we've got all of that, let's move on to nitrification. And... This process is done by nitrifying bacteria. So it essentially turns the ammonia and the ammonium ions into, first of all, nitrite ions. And then it turns into nitrate ions. And that whole thing is nitrification. And then some of the nitrate ions are absorbed by the plants, which completes the cycle because these nitrate ions will help the plant grow. And then it ends up being feeding to animals again, which... The cycle just repeats, I mean, quite obvious. And then we have something that's not very useful for us, which is the denitrifying bacteria. And it's not useful because it's, it's turning some of the plant nutrients back into atmospheric nitrogen. And we don't use atmospheric nitrogen, and neither do like plants or cows or any other animals, really. So it's pretty much useless to us. But this process still exists, and it is called denitrification. Syllabus also specifically says that you only need to remember that bacteria has a role in nitrification, decomposition, nitrogen fixation, and denitrification. So you don't actually have to know any names of bacteria, just know that bacteria and other microorganisms are involved. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful to some of you. and. If it did, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Bye!